Hughes. But in the Coach Combs, you know, he's a little, he's animated. Uh, Coach Johnson, not at not, he's not as animated, but he still has his moments. So really, I don't think it's a big drop off or any drop off in energy. Um, coaching styles, I mean, obviously, every coach has different ways to do things, but. I mean, I'm just, we're still getting a chance to learn how he likes to coach. And we know what happens in college football, but what's it like when you come to a school and then your position coach leaves? Uh, initially, I mean, everyone was hurt, but at the same time, we're all really happy for Coach Combs that he was able to uh, get that job at the next level. Um, I know he's accomplished a lot of things. He's changed a lot of lives for uh, families. All the first round picks he's produced. So we're just happy that we had a chance to get coached by Coach Combs. And we know Two that Coach Combs the last couple of years had rotated the corners, right? Um, what's your understanding from Coach Johnson? Do you expect that will continue, or do you think that it's going to be two starting corners most of the time? Uh, with all the press men that we play, I feel like with the rotation of corners, it's just going to be something that's become a part of Ohio State. So even though Coach Combs is gone, I feel like that just is part of the culture now. If we have enough corners that could play uh, effectively on the field, then they're going to see the field. What have you seen out of Tyreek in seven this spring? Oh, I was on my young bull, so yeah, so Tyreek in seven. Tyreek is, you can tell they're Florida guys. They come with a lot of juice, a lot of swag, and uh, I kind of see what they're going through right now. I'm just going from being a high school senior to coming out here playing with a bunch of old guys. Uh, you have your highs and lows, so we just try to make sure they don't ever get too high or too low and just be there for them in their uh, uh, low moments or even their good moments. Jeff, there's only one guy on this team that's been here for longer than a year. Um, do you kind of get the sense that this is like, it's your time now, like it's it's the youth takeover, I guess? Well, uh, not necessarily. I kind of feel like we want the way our unit kind of, we sit, we sit down and talk about it a lot. We kind of want everyone to succeed. So. I wouldn't say it's actually a new takeover, but just kind of saying like collectively, why not be the best unit on this football team? Mm -hmm. What and do you do? You sense is is there like a lack of veteran leadership? I guess. Or how, how do you go about not having a guy other than um, Dame Barnett? I guess that's just the lack of experience in the room. How do you go about doing that from a leadership perspective? I mean, at Ohio State, I feel like you mature really quickly. So even though you've been here for one year, you feel like you've been here for two years. So. I can't really imagine how guys that have been here for five years feel like. So, so I mean, I've been here for only a year, and I feel like I picked up so much wisdom along the way.